And you guys see the Chud asses get owned by uh, Shang-Chi star, Simu Lu? Is that how you pronounce his name? I don't know. Uh, I know this guy from uh, Kim's Convenience, which is a Canadian show, which is a good show, except for they do the, they make the actors do the Asian voice. And I think some of them kind of had a problem with that, even though like the main guy doesn't talk like that at all. He was on an episode of The Mandalorian and he talks like basically like I talk, but uh, he has to do that Asian. I won't do the Asian accent because it's racist, but he has to do the Asian accent for the show. Anyway, good show anyway. Uh, and he's uh, their son on the show. And But apparently before he was on that show, he was a model for stock photos. Yeah, there he is doing all kinds of stock photo bullshit. So as you can imagine... Uh, the people who are in the cottage industry of outrage for Marvel movies, and I know it's hard to believe that that exists, but there are people that make 10 times the amount of money I make for this show, and all they do is bitch about Marvel movies. And there's hundreds of thousands of people who tune in every day who love to hear them do nothing but shit on Marvel movies day in and day out. That's their, their kink, I guess. And uh, they were mad at this movie because Marvel decided to pick a comic book character that was Asian. They could have made a movie about anybody, any of the many white superheroes that have not been had movies made about them. But no, they're kind of woke and they're going for diversity. So they're trying to have more uh, minority superheroes to build up in the Marvel franchise. And so that's why they picked this guy, according to the chud asses who make all these fucking videos. And let me show you a couple of them here. And so they were all champing at the bit, salivating over the thought of this movie flopping predicting it over and over again here's uh the quartery shang chi big flop shang chi be marvel's first flop shang chi falls apart before release marvel panic a shang chi flop could delay the eternals shang chi does anyone actually care shang chi will break labor day box office records but will it still flop Marvel loses millions. Worst MCV box office ever. We're fucked. Like literally a thousand videos trying to stir up outrage because an Asian guy is starring in a Marvel movie. Just ridiculous. And so, uh, of course, they got owned because Shang-Chi grossed $90 million domestically over the four-day weekend. The highest ever for a Labor Day weekend. It destroyed, killed it. Uh, and a lot of it was probably because of the pandemic. People are just so hungry to get back out there to the movie theaters to resort in lives. So, uh, but then King... Shimu Lu, the star of the show, decided to own the chuds. Apparently he is familiar with all the videos made by these dipshits claiming the movie was going to flop. So he posts this picture of him uh, from his stock photography days with the caption, me laughing at the people who thought we'd flop. Nailed it. Laughing at you quartering. Jeremy, all you motherfuckers. Of course, it doesn't matter. Like none of these guys that make the movies about Marvel, they, they don't actually care. They're just making videos they know their audience will click on and they make tons of money off of it. So they'll keep pushing this outrage over any little thing. It works, I guess. I guess don't hate the players, hate the games, but funny. Funny to see him uh, slap them down a little bit. And now they're trying to get back up with the Matrix. They already were wrong about Shang-Chi, but it, it doesn't stop them. The grift just keeps on rolling his journey. The Matrix 4 Resurrection trailer has me concerned. Trinity? To replace Neo as the one? Oh no! Are they having a woman as a badass in the Matrix? Must be woke! Gonna make a thousand videos about it! The grift keeps on trucking, y'all!